guys and welcome to Push Factor TV. My name is Sheila McKenna. Wait a minute, did you hear that? You know what that was? Yeah, that was the sound of January. It's gone. It's over with. We're now in February. There's nothing you can do about the fact that January is gone. If you had things you needed to do, things you were lazy about, or things you procrastinated about, well, that story is done with. We're now in a new chapter. We're now in February. And I've been listening to a lot of audios and watching a lot of videos by this guy. His name is Eric Thomas. And there's something that he said that really, really, really hit me hard. And I probably say that a lot, but this one is really true. No, really. This time, this one hit me quite hard. And he said, in life, you don't get what you want. You get who you are. So what does Eric Thomas mean when he says in life, you get what you are and not what you want? He basically means that the current circumstances of our lives the things that we're experiencing right now, the things that we have right now, all of those are based on the beliefs we have about ourselves and be the beliefs that we have of what we are capable of. So if 2014 is to be a completely different year from all the other years that you have had, if you're anything like me, if you are not satisfied with the, the way that you have been living lately and you want this year to be different, it's going to mean changing what you believe about yourself, changing what you think that you're capable of. It means no longer thinking that there are only certain things you can do or there are only certain things you, that you can be. And for me, there are three simple things that I want to do this year. First of all, I want to take responsibility for where I am in my life. And if you're unhappy with where you are, do that too. Take responsibility for where you are right now. Take responsibility for the thoughts that you are thinking. It's nobody else's job to get you to where you want to. It's not your wife's job, it's not your employer's job. It is nobody else's job but, 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 but you, yourself. Number two, make commitments to yourself and honor those commitments. If you really, really say that you want to change, then start making those commitments to yourself to start changing. It sounds simple and I know it's not easy, but it is definitely worth it and it is possible. So if you need to start small, start small, but be persistent and be consistent. And number three, I believe that you had an intention for this year. I believe in your mind that you knew what you wanted for 2014. That's what I've been doing lately, asking people, what do you want out of 2014? And you know what? Everybody has an answer. So it means taking that intention that you have and going the extra mile. This year, if you have never been committed this year, be committed. Be persistent and have faith in yourself and the things that you're capable of doing. And that starts with changing your beliefs and changing the things that you believe you're capable of. So I would like to honestly thank you. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Push Factor TV. If you would like to watch more videos like these, subscribe to the channel, Push Factor TV. Thank you for watching. My name is Sheila McKenna, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.